A new partnership is aiming to help the city's unhoused population, including newly arrived asylum seekers with their basic needs. Paul DeBoer is the executive director of the Chicago Furniture Bank, joining us this morning to tell us more. Thank you for being here, yeah, Paul. Thank you. So tell us who you are partnering with and how this is going to work. So we have a partnership together with the city of Chicago and then also with uh, the New Life Center on the south side and also Cradles to Crayon, which is just across the street here. Uh, our three groups came together uh, to, to form a coalition to help people um, that are coming out of homelessness and particularly the asylum seekers as they have no, they came with nothing, right? right? The clothes on their back. So we're helping them with all the basic fundamental things that they need uh, to live. Yeah, and so New Life is doing assistance with housing correct so when people are placed in an apartment they have no furniture and They're, that's where you come in right e exactly there's nothing in it so we we provide the furniture package that they can have so they have beds to sleep on they have a chair to sit in kitchen tables a kitchenware box so they have plates and knives and forks all, all the basics that you know we just kind of take for granted right yeah and so you're in your fifth year with the furniture bank uh, the furniture bank's five years old, yes. Five years yes. old. Tell us why why it was started and how people can help and donate. Because so many people have furniture that they, you know, they don't need anymore. And that stuff can be yeah. reused and repurposed. Absolutely. There, uh, it was actually started by three young guys from uh, Wharton Business School. They put mm -hmm. a business plan together. They won a president's award that got them seed funding. And it allowed them to start the furniture bank. Uh, and then a wealthy philanthropist on the north side of Chicago found out what they were doing, gave them a significant amount of money, which really led to our growth. So we, we serve about 4,200 homes last year. We expect to serve over 6,000 homes this year. And we need furniture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're, we're desperate to get more furniture into our house, or into our warehouse, rather, so we can give it away to other people. And you'll pick up the furniture, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell us about that partnership because you have another uh, nonprofit that you work with on that. Well, we have uh, we have two organizations. We have mm -hmm. the Chicago Furniture Bank, mm -hmm. and then we have a sister company called Honest Junk, which is also part of the Chicago Furniture Bank. Okay. So all the money that we use on our junk collection business goes to support the Chicago Furniture Bank. So we collect furniture, but people said, well, can you take my couch, but also all this junk in my garage? Yeah. And so we, we take everything, and then we try to repurpose and recycle and reuse everything we get our hands on. Paul, tell me what it is like for you to be able to work on this issue. You know, Chicago has a long-standing issue with the unhoused. Now we have... 15,000 new arrivals. What does it mean to you to be able to be a part of helping them settle, get the things that they need, especially when you see that there's so many needs with people sleeping outside of police stations and in tents, et cetera? Yeah, it's really, um, it, there's a life story of one of our workers, actually, who was a client. He actually needed furniture. Uh, the owners of the, or the uh, founders of the furniture bank saw him, offered him a job. So he's been with us two years. And his story is, you know, thanks to this job, I was able to buy my kids Christmas presents for the first time. Yeah. So those are the kind of stories that just, you know, melt your heart, and it's why we do what we do. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in, Paul. Okay. For more information on the Chicago Furniture Bank, Honest Junk Company, you can visit their websites. We've got them listed on your screen. Also find them on social media. And then if you want to make a donation to help the asylum seekers in Chicago, you can also visit chicago.gov support. Hey, Tim.